Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this, the second last question on the 2008 Grade 8 Gauss Contest. What do you got for us, Contest? Well, question 24 here says the sum of all the digits of the integers from 98 to 101 is 9 plus 8. Okay, they're, they're just summing all the digits. Plus 100 plus 101. So these are where all these digits are coming from. And 9 plus 8 plus 9 plus 8 blah, 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 is 38. Okay. I'll trust them. They seem to know what they're doing. Uh, the sum of all the digits from the integers from 1 to 2008. Oh, okay. So that's going to be a bit of a tall order. Um, hmm. So the, the problem with a question like this is, you know, how do we begin approaching it? Because you might start saying, well, let's look for a pattern. 1. 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. And there is a pattern to those numbers, but the second I get to you know, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, once I get to 10, I have to go plus 1 plus 0. And this isn't the nicest thing to work with. And then, you know, plus 1 plus 1. And so it's going to be very hard to find a pattern. Because uh, there, there really isn't a, a whole lot of regularity to these sorts of things, you know. Uh, you know, one moment we're adding a bunch of ones, and then, you know, suddenly there's some twos in there. And, you know, it can, it can shift around a whole lot. So, uh, what would I suggest with a question like this? I think probably the best approach for a question like this, where we're adding up digits, is to not focus on, okay, and then what happens when we add the next number? And then what happens when we add the next number? I think the best way to do this is probably focus on blocks of numbers where things are predictable. So, for example, I'm going to start counting at zero. Think about that. You know, oh, the question asked about 1 to 2008. Why are you starting counting at zero? Because if I start with 0 plus 1, plus 2, plus, uh, I get some regularity, but the zero doesn't change anything. So don't worry about it. Okay, but if I start with the zero, zero plus one plus two, all the way up to plus nine, I know every one of my ten digits is represented there. Okay, and then if I go, you know, up to twenty, I get one plus zero, plus another one, plus one, one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, and all the way up to just before twenty, so one, nine for nineteen. I will get. I will have had zero from the ten all the way up to the nine from the nineteen. That's another block of zero to nine that's represented. What about all those ones? You know, the one coming from the the start of the ten, the start of the eleven, the start of the twelve. Well, that's ten ones there. Okay, but then the next ten numbers, twenty up to twenty nine, is also going to have zero to nine, and it's going to have ten twos. And the next group's going to have ten threes, ten fours, ten fives. And if you think about it, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 9, it could really just be written as 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, without changing the sum. Adding in zeros to this sum doesn't do anything. So that would be the way I would approach a question like this, is find blocks that I can understand the patterns in. Okay? So that's, uh, that's my preamble. I also, I think I did this, I think this was question 25 on the grade 7 paper. It's been a while since I recorded the grade 7 paper. I've been doing other things, teaching and so forth. Um, but, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to focus on blocks of, of 10 or, or 100 or, or, or things like that. So, um, from 0 to 9. And once again, I'd like to iterate. Why are you, why are you starting at 0? It doesn't change anything. It does not change anything. 0 to 9, we get uh, 1 of each digit. So that's that's the sort of first 10 uh, digits there. Okay. And then if I can't... Uh, so, you know, we should probably figure out the sum of that. So what's the sum of 0 plus 1 plus... Because I have a feeling we're going to be adding up a lot of groups of these numbers. Uh, well, you can get your calculator out and work it out. Uh, it's 45. It's one of those numbers you tend to run into. Some of the, the single digits is 45. Okay, now, from 0 to 99. 
So these are numbers, these are two digit numbers. Yeah, I know some of the first few are single digits, but we just talked about them. Call them zero, zero, and zero, one, and zero, two, because the zeros don't matter. So these are our two digit numbers. They sort of look like A, B, and we have 10 possibilities for A, 10 possibilities for B, and we're going to get you know, 10 numbers that start with zero for A, and we're also going to get 10 numbers that start, that have a two at the end with the B, you know, 12, 22, two, uh, 42, 92, things like that. So we are going to get uh, 10, okay, so, so what is it? So the single digits, The single digits, so 0, 1, 2, 3, da, 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 9, and then 10 goes 0 as it's, uh, so let's not say single digits, let's say units digits. Zero, one, two, three, nine. I'm just counting the units digits, and then we get to the 20s, and we go 0, 1, all the way up to 9. And now we're in the 80s, 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 9. And then now we're in the 90s, 90. 91, 92, all the way up to 9. And here's 99. So we're going to have 10 blocks of 0 through 9. Now what do the tens digits do? Tens digits look like, well, the first 10, uh, I'm saying, well, the, the, the tens digits of the single digits are just zeros. Then we're going to have 10 ones. Then we're going to have 10 twos. Then we're going to have 10 threes in the 30s, all the way up to 10 nines. But this is another 10 blocks of 0 through 9. They're just spread out in a different way. Okay. So, you know, here we get 10 times 45. And these digits, 10 times 45, that's pretty nifty. And now I think we're ready to make sort of a bigger leap. If I go up to, I'm not going to go up to 2008. Why? 2008 is kind of an odd number, which I just realized, you know, 2008 is an even number, but 2008 is kind of awkward. Okay. But if we went up, like here we're going 0 to 9, 0 to 99. What if we went up to 1,999? Okay, that's a little more regular. Okay. And then, you know, if we can figure out that sum, well, then we just have to add on the digits from 2000, 2001. This is, this is small potatoes, nothing to worry about. Okay. But now let's think about it. If we go up to 1999, the singles digits, I keep saying singles, units digits, units digits. The pattern in the units digits is you go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 9, and then you repeat. And so the question is, how many of these blocks of 10 do you have? So here this last one is the 9 coming from the end of 1,999. This one here is the 1's digit coming from 1,991. So we have groups of 10 here. Now we can use a sort of a little, there's one group of 10, there's another group of 10, now we're in the 20s, 30s, yada, 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 and now we're in the 1,990s. So how many groups of 10? Well, we have 1,990 numbers, oh sorry, no, we have 2,000 numbers, 2,000 numbers, silly, because we start at zero. So we'll have 2,000 numbers here. And how many groups of 10 do we have? Well, divide it by 10. That's literally what division is for. We have 200. So we are going to be adding up 200 of these. And we know that each block counts for 45. So that'll be a total of 9,000. Okay, what do the tens digits do? Well, they follow a similar pattern. You know, it's 10 zeros. And now we're in the tens. Now we're in the 20s, and it keeps going. Now we're in the 90s, and now we're in the hundreds, and the hundred and tens. We have 10 of those, and then the 120s, and it just keeps going on and on and on. 
And then we'll get, you know, the 1980s. They'll have eight, uh, they'll have ten eights in a row for the 80s. And then we'll have ten nines in a row. So this eight here is coming from 1989. That's, that's where that eight comes from. This one here comes from 1980. We're counting up tens digits, and they have a slightly different pattern. But look at here, we've got sort of blocks of 100. But each block of 100, which how many blocks of 100 are there? Well, 2,000 over 100. We have 20 blocks of 100. But each of these blocks of 100 has 10 zeros, 10 ones, 10 twos, all the way up to 10 nines. So we'll have 20 and then 10 times 45. And that's another 9,000. OK, well, let's, let's make a bigger leap up to the hundreds digits. Okay, hundreds digits, what do they look like? Well, if we think about, you know, our starting numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, they're really 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. You know, they have no hundreds. It's not until we get to 100 where we see our first one. So we'll get a whole bunch of zeros, this zero coming from 0, 9, 9. And then we'll have our first one in the hundreds column coming from the one in 100. And we'll have 100 of those ones. And then we'll hit the 200s. We'll have 200 of those, or we'll have 100 of those twos, and then 100 of those threes, and it just keeps going. And then you know 100 of the fours, and then we hit a thousand, and then we're back to the zeros. We'll have 100 zeros again, all the way up to you know 100 eights and 100 nines. So this this eight here is coming from the eight in 1800. So now we have. Big, big, big blocks of 100 zeros, 100 ones, 100 twos. We'll eventually get up to 100 nines. And how many, how many, uh, how many groups do we have? So these these guys will go up to here are the nines for 900, and then we roll over to the zeros for 1,000. So we have two groups of of zeros up to nines, each taking 1,000. Uh, numbers with them. So we'll have two groups going from 0 to 9, and each group has 100 zeros, 100 ones, 100 nines being added up. And once again, this is 9,000. So right now, so oh, we're not done yet, actually. I just realized we also have the thousands digits. But the thousands digits are where our pattern sort of breaks down. Because we're only going up to 1,999, you'll have 1,000 zeros followed by 1,000 ones. And this, this one here comes from the 1 in 1999. Next, it would be a 2 for the 2,000s, but we're not counting that high. So what's our total uh, for the thousands digits? Just 1,000, 1,000 ones. So, in, t in summary, what have we done so far? We've added up all the digits. Sum of digits from 0, although technically it's 1 because the 0 doesn't really add anything, to 1999 is, well, we had 9,000 from the, all the units digits being added up, 9,000 from all the tens digits, 9,000 from all the hundreds digits, and then we have 1,000 ones that are in the thousands digits. All right, so that so far is uh, 28,000. Now we have a few numbers left over to deal with. We have to add up, you know, 2,000, the digits from that, 2,001, 2,002, 2,003, 2,004, all the way up to 2,008. We have to take each of those and add them on. But the sum of those digits is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sum of those digits. Uh, here, 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 8, 9, and 10. So to our 28,000, we're going to add on 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the 2,008 is 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8. It contributes 10 to our overall total. 
And you can grab a calculator if you want to, or you can try and add this up on your own. It's entirely up to you. I think it'll be ending at 54, but let me just hit my calculator. 28,000 plus 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, 28,054. And that is what I'm going to look for in my answers. Now, I might be wrong, and in which case I have to go back and, and double-check my technique, but uh, there it is at the end. It's E. So this question is long, and frankly, you know, it's, it's me rambling a bit. And if you're not following along with my train of thought, you're going to be a little lost as to how are you doing this. So just to once again try and run through this, uh, adding up digit, single digits as we go is difficult and there isn't really a nice pattern to it. But if we take a look at blocks of say, you know, uh, what do the, the tens digits do between zero and 99? Well, they ten zeros, ten ones. And when we're adding up the digits coming from numbers, we don't care when we add them, just as long as we add all the ones that come from the tens digits of the tens and all the twos that come from the tens digits of the twenties. So we can group them together like that. We can consider things on a block of units digits, block of tens digits, block of hundreds digits. And so we go up to 199 because that's where the patterns work out the best. Okay, uh, If you go up to 1,999, you'll get 200 blocks of 10 uh, of, of the, the units digits going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that becomes really easy to add up because it's regular. It's, there's a pattern there. Okay, and that's what we're trying to do. We're breaking it down to a pattern. Okay, so feel free to add any comments if you need some clarification. I've tried to explain what I'm doing as best I can. And if you followed along, great. We've got one more question to go, and that's question 25. I will see you for that in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful day.